Welcome to fucking Boondocking with Sean, day three of our desert trip, and what a trip it is to wake up in the middle of the fucking desert. And this here is the desert south of Joshua Tree National Park, where we spent the last couple days, but alas, it's time to move the fuck on. Today's a travel day and happens to be Mother's Day, so retroactive happy Mother's Day, all you fucking mothers. We're headed into southwest Arizona to a little town called Quartzsite, population 2400 or some shit, and known to be one of the hottest fucking places in the U.S., and it's kind of a rock and mineral mecca. And uh, wifey poo, she's not a fan of extreme heat and hates shopping and doesn't give a shit about rocks. Happy fucking Mother's Day to me! But there's literally nothing else to do on our way east, so here we are, shopping for rocks and shit in the heat. Uh, Here's one of many roadside little rock shops they got. How's your Mother's Day so far, dear? Yeah, it's fucking great, thanks. Okay, good. Anyway. From 1863 till the 1880s, Quartzsite was just the site of a watering hole and later a stagecoach station called Tyson Wells. Oops, wrong Tyson. I need to work on that one. And uh, by accounts of folks who traveled through here back then, it was an absolute shithole. A gal named Martha Summerhays in 1875 said of it, It reeks of everything unclean, both morally and physically. Good times. She must have come on Mother's Day too. I don't know. But anywho, if you like rocks and shit, this is the place for you. Uh, In the winter, they have gigantic gym shows and swap meets and shit. And uh, yeah, also tons of fucking boondocking in the desert outside of town. Wintertime mostly. Not our scene really, but if uh, you want the vibe, then watch the movie Nomad Land. There's like two actual actors in that movie and the rest are real people. Desert people. Fucking weirdos. My kind of people. Anyway, I took mom out for Mother's Day lunch. Mexican food. Mexican again? Yeah, well, there's this amazing Mexican place here, but it was closed, so we went to the only other one in town. I mean, the second best one in town. This one. Happy Mother's Day. Well, I do like to try and pamper her on Mother's Day, so I felt kind of bad, and so I tried really hard to buy her something. Oh, hey, you want one of those rings? No. Uh, how about some of these earrings? Nah. Uh, how about, do you want a necklace? Mm-mm. How about a big hunk of that right there? Fuck no. How about some of those things? No thanks. Uh, You want a big ass purple crystal? Don't be a dumbass. Well, how about a pocket full of those things? What the fuck? I don't have pockets. You could put it in your purse. (sighs) How about a big ass rusty bird thing? I'm not going to repeat what she said. Fuck off. What she did say she wanted to do is sit in the fucking truck's air conditioning while I went and looked at shit she doesn't give a shit about. So that's what I did. I like this shit. You know what they say, happy husband, happy life. No, no one says that. No one gives a shit, but anyway. I did get her into the really good fresh jerky store. Seriously, that's the name of the store. All right, dear, you're fucking buying something in here whether you want it or not. So there you go. She got some Mother's Day jerky and candy and shit, and I got a roadie. (laughs) No, it's cream soda. Don't be a dumbass. I did buy myself a big-ass purple crystal, though. What? It was wholesale. Anyway, it was also 100 fucking degrees. What the fuck? What the fuck? For Mother's Day, just get us the fuck out of Quartzsite. So that's what I did. And, uh, you know, we don't make solid plans when boondocking. We fucking wing it. And so our initial idea to boondock outside of town in 100 degree fucking weather all of a sudden was understood to be a dumbass plan. So we decided to drive east into the desert until it cooled off. And Wifey Poo did her amazing navigation thing and found some potential spots. So we drove and it was still 100 degrees at 6 fucking p.m. And, uh, oh, look, I got a little head while in quartzite. <laughs> no, I actually gave her her Mother's Day gift before we even came out here in anticipation of this very situation. But I didn't anticipate this fucking gift, this ridiculous-ass sunset. I had to pull over for that, and we drank it in with our eyes, garnished with flurries of golden rain and shit. And, uh... I've been enamored with Arizona since I was a kid. It's fucking magic out here, and that's why we've come, to marinate in the magic and weave through its orange, fluffy tapestries and, you know, just generally fuck off and soak it in. I mean, come on, look at that shit. Videos don't really do it justice. It doesn't matter where you go, people. It just matters that you fucking go, or you'll never see shit. Anyway, it got dark, so we drove down a forest service road, this one, and uh, found a place to overnight, not even unhooking this bitch. Uh, desert nights, I'm telling you. Oh, and I bought myself a hunk of Labradorite for Mother's Day. I usually don't buy shit like this, but it was a special fucking occasion. I know. That's the only hit I'm getting on Mother's Day. I can do that joke twice, right? 
camping hack headlight on a fucking water thingy. You're welcome. And hey oh, happy Mother's Day. We got the party bucket, so fuck it. But in the end, we had a good day, so cheers these to all the mothers. And you too, you mother. And uh, look, I got a little head after all. Third time's a charm. Did you have a nice Mother's Day, dear? Are you filming me right now? I have hat head. Don't fucking film me. I'm gonna get in trouble for that, so toodaloo.